So it's been announced today that Tom Brady is retiring from the NFL at 44 years old. He's the most decorated NFL American football player of all time, and many would call him the greatest quarterback of all time. He's got seven Super Bowl wins, five Super Bowl MVPs. He has won 243 regular season games and 35 postseason games for a combined 278 wins over his career. Brady holds a .769 winning percentage, which is the highest among uh, NFL quarterbacks who've started over 100 games. Uh, and uh, more information uh, grabbed off Wikipedia. He's the only NFL quarterback to win 200 regular season games and his 35 postseason victories are more than twice those of any other quarterback. Uh, Brady's also the only NFL quarterback to win all 16 regular season games, which he accomplished in 2007. And in 2021, Brady became one of four quarterbacks to defeat all 32 NFL teams in his career. So what's next for Tom Brady? Uh, he's running his uh, company Autograph.io, which is an NFT company. If you're not familiar with NFTs, they're non-fungible tokens, uh, which mostly right now are images. Uh, they'll soon to be uh, films and uh, audio and uh, other things as well. But basically anything digitally that you can uh, put a stamp on as it being unique. Uh, last month, Autograph raised $170 million in a funding round uh, co-led by venture capitalist firms Andreessen Horowitz and Kleiner Perkins. Uh, and the funding, funding came after an initial $35 million in funding in uh, uh, 2021, uh, according to routers. Um, so what is Autograph.io? Uh, you can check out the site for yourself and explore what uh, they have available on the site. It's mostly focused on sports NFTs, uh, of course, Tom Brady's uh, himself, and you can see all the different uh, collections that he has created. If you're excited to hear about Tom Brady's new business, uh, Autograph.io, that was just started up last year, click that like button, and you can subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button, and if you click that bell notification, we'll notify you whenever we put out a new video. That being said, nothing on this channel is financial advice, so please do your own due diligence before jumping into any NFTs. You know, when I was a kid, everybody collected uh, sports cards, uh, football cards, baseball cards, you name it. NFTs are uh, collector cards on steroids because they're actually uh, numbered, uh, sequential, and they are uh, time-stamped for all eternity as to their validity and uh, their, that they can't be faked. Um, so we can see here that the, you know, the Tom Brady, he's got all these different collections that, uh, and some of them are, are signed, some are not. Of course, the signed ones are more valuable. So we can see the different editions they have here and they've partnered uh, with DraftKings, which is a giant marketplace uh, for uh, collectible NFTs, mostly in the uh, sports world. What's cool is everything is listed. Uh, you can see uh, when sales happened, when uh, items were listed, how much they've been listed for, how much they've sold for. So you can see if the cost of the item, uh, the value of the item is going up or down. We can simply browse on the DraftKings uh, marketplace uh, and we can look uh, you know, at different collections if uh, you know Tom Brady's Origins collections here, uh, the Ruby signed Immortal statue, you can purchase right now. There's only 11 for sale, and if you want to buy one, it's going to cost you $18,500 for the signed Immortal statue. So there's a huge marketplace for NFTs and collectibles, and this just allows everybody to be a collector without actually filling your house with stuff. And at any time, it's real easy to sell the items as well. Uh, there's no, uh, the transfer happens all online. So it's a really cool thing. But if you're a, if you're a serious collector, then uh, this is the way to go. Um, so there's all these NFTs that you can purchase uh, for Tom Brady. And then with uh, Autograph, he's also uh, gotten collections with the likes of Tony Hawk. And we can look at his collection uh, by applying that over here and see the cool um, artwork that, that we can get over here and the different pricing uh, structure that's available for that.
Um, he's got the, the statues and his uh, immortal statue, uh, just like they've got it for Tom Brady, is going for much less as uh, 3129 uh, And one of these did sell uh, just six days ago for $3,500. So very cool what uh, Tom Brady's doing with Autograph.io. And uh, it's going to be cool to see how many other players he brings in here from uh, different uh, sporting events and helps them launch their NFT projects. So you'll see on Autograph, we've just dropped Dale Earnhardt's uh, Junior's Victory Lap Collection. And uh, he's got featured um, icons in here. We've got Tom Brady, Tiger Woods, Derek Jeter, Wayne Gretzky, Tony Hawk, Naomi Osaka, Simone Biles, Usain Bolt, Rob Grabowski. And so they'll be adding more and more celebrities over time. And uh, there's, there's going to be never be an end to how many NFTs can be created because there's always going to be new sports stars. There's always going to be new fans and they're always going to want to collect uh, those items just like we collected cards when we were kids. And any of these collections, you can go over to the draft, uh, the draft Kings in their marketplace We've got Rain, Wayne Gretzky here. We can check out a Simone Biles. Uh, we'll see that they, they have similar collections, um, but will be slightly different as far as what they decide to do with their, uh, with their other collections there. So it's gonna be really cool to see where Tom Brady takes autograph.io and uh, uh, wish him the best of success on that uh, as he's had so much success uh, in the NFL. So if you found this information valuable, click that like button. Uh, feel free to subscribe and click the bell notification and you'll be notified whenever we put a new video out. We focus on NFTs and NFT gaming specifically. So I uh, hope you found this valuable and I thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next video.